Good morning. We're going to take a band overhead and start with a wake up. So take your band up and back and let this be a wake up. Breathe in and out. Hi guys, just waking up our shoulders with a band overhead, forward and back. Inhale and exhale. Make the arms as wide as you need to. Breathe in. Good morning and back. Breathe in and back. One more. And we're going to take the band. I'm going to light up, uh, put my hands in a little closer. Take the band overhead, pull down with your arms, with your exhale. Now I'm going to add a possibility that if you'd like, lift up your heels and lift your heels. You're going to do a calf raise and the arms pull down. Five. Good. Six, seven, eight, and your knees are soft. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Good. 13, 14, 15. If you can take five more, if you need to get rid of part of that, like the calf raise or the arms, you can just do one part of this. Take three more, two more, and one more. Now we're going to uh, release the shoulders. Just take a little shoulder roll here, a few. Now take the band behind your upper back, and you're going to have the palms facing up. Press away. One. Two, your palms are facing up. Three, you're pressing out. Four, five, knees are soft. Six, seven, eight, and neck is easy. Nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Julie. We did some pull downs, some calf raises, and we did some shoulder stretches. <laughs> so just join when you can. And guys that are with me, just try to take five more here. We'll let the girls at least get a handful of these. Three, two, one. Now again, just release your shoulder tension. Good job. Now we're going to take the band, palms facing up. Uh, and probably both heels in the middle. Depends on the intensity of your band. Both heels in the middle, both tails equal. Bend your elbows. Now right away you'll know, do I need to just have one heel? Do I need to change bands? Make it for you. You're tall. Your neck is easy. Knees are soft. Good, and notice how you control it on the way up and you control it on the way down. Control on the way up, control on the way down. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Really good. Now release your shoulder tension. Take the band behind your upper shoulder blade or shoulder blades again. Now I'd like to add on a possibility. So if you're adding on, your feet are gonna be a little bit wider. Now watch how we do two things at once. We're gonna have a seat and breast stroke the arms. Have a seat and breast stroke the arms good have a seat and the knees are tracking with your second toe breathing in and out good and six the arms are like a breast stroke or like you're polishing a table good eight good your glutes are heavier than your knees nine 10. Now we're going to change the arms. So the arms are going to go narrow and then open. They're going to go narrow and then open. Narrow and open. Heels are heavy. 
five, neck is easy, six, seven, and remember you can always take out one of the moves if it's too much to do both. You could just do the arms. And one. Nice job. Now this is a stretch. Take your arms kind of wide. And those of you that were in the class right away at the beginning, you got this stretch with the dynamic. Now we're holding it static. Breathe in. Find another angle that feels amazing. Breathe in. Ah, find one more place. This is so we have great posture, shoulders and chest. Breathe in and then let that go. Now you may use the same band, but you also might take a lighter one. So I'm gonna take a lighter one. Stand on your band with one foot. So if the right heel's on the band, your right hand has the handle or the side. Open out to the side, but notice my body is tall. I'm not leaning away from that band. If you, uh, this hand is in your peripheral vision. You can see it, it's not drifting behind you. Six, so it's beside but slightly ahead of your body. Seven, knee soft. Eight, nine, and you should feel your shoulder. 10, your wrist is neutral or flat. 11, 12, 13, good, that's where it is, not here. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, I like the control, 19, and 20. Now we're gonna do 20 on the other side. Stand on your band, arm long, and so right there I didn't do enough tension, so I'm gonna move over a little. If you have too much tension, move over away from your hand a little. So easy adjustments with the bands. Five, neck is easy, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, good. Shoulder, 14, 15, 16, and breathing in and out, 17, not holding our breath, 18, 19, 20. Now to the front, so step on it with your other heel and pull forward. Now, if you don't have enough tension, get that band shorter. Three, try not to lean back. Four, your arm goes front. Five, this is the muscle. Six, the shoulder. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, good, 12, 13, 14, and another getting hard. It's a long lever. Try five more, but the way to modify is just give yourself more slack. So it's okay if you need to do that to continue. Two and one. Now we're going to switch the foot and switch the hand. So the foot that has your band, you're standing on it. Let's say left heel, left arm. Stay square or front. So yeah, pull your left side of your shoulder to me. Five, and go about shoulder height, six. We don't really need to go higher. Seven, to maximize benefits. Eight, and keep the wrist low. Nine, 10, you'll feel that shoulder. 11, knees are soft. 12, wrists are long, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. Now release your band. You may need a heavier band again or you know mod moderate now um, or just grab more band if you have one band that you're working with. Take your hand behind your head, your band behind your head. Your other hand is right around your low back or your, your booty. Your exhale pushes your top arm tall. You bend it again, you push your top arm tall. Exhale, three, this is triceps. This is a really important muscle group to get strong. Five, 
Now keep your elbow high, uh, Julie, so see if it will stay high and not go out to the side again. Just keep it up. Yes. Just your hand comes behind your head. Now your knees are soft, especially when your arms are overhead, it's easier to hyperextend the knees and we don't want to. It's easy to hyperextend the back. So keep your abs full and your ribs down. 13, 14, good. Jaw line parallel to the floor, 15, 16, 17, the back of that upper arm, 18 is working, 19, 20. Now we're gonna take the other hand behind your skull. It's almost like you're shaving the back of your head. Your other hand comes here where your low back or your, your sacrum is, that heart-shaped bone at the base of the spine. Lengthen your elbow, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, good, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Now um, I'm going to put this, I'm going to take my sweater off, grab a sip if you need it. We're going to do a set of upright rows. Grab a sip and we'll do some upright rows. Stand on your band. Heels are on it, both heels most likely. You have a moderate to heavy band. Now exhale, pull your elbows out to the side. Now your wrists are going along for the ride. Don't force them vertical because your forearms aren't vertical. They're kind of diagonal down. Yes, I like what I see. I'm just making sure. So if you look at your wrist, they're in the same line that your forearm is. You're not forcing them down, right? So the wrist can go kind of angled out. Mm -hmm. Neck is easy. Knees are soft. And you're breathing continuously. Ten. Nine more, eight, seven, six, and let your elbows be higher, Julie. Five at the top part right here. Four, yeah, so the elbows are always higher than the wrist in this one. Three, two, one. Now bring the feet out. Now take the band behind. And this is gonna be one called narrow wide. So I'm gonna do one narrow wide just to show you. Narrow is straight ahead, and then we're gonna go wide. Now, if you'd like to add on, go wide with your legs. So I call it a second position squat, wider than your shoulders. Now, as you squat, you're gonna go narrow, and then as you squat the next time, you're gonna go wide. And as you squat, you're gonna go narrow, and then as you, good, you've got it, narrow, wide. The legs don't do the narrow part. The legs just stay wide. Good job. Glutes, inner thighs. And then pretend you have a flashlight on your heart and your heart's still flashing forward. Your flashlight is forward. Your heart beams forward. If you scan your knees, either in your video or at your own body, your knees track with your second toe. Good. And exhale. If it's ever too much, good, Karen. I like the way you're modifying because you're finding out what works for you. All right, I like it for the main goal is to do healthy things for these times and have people around you that are doing healthy things. <laughs> so one more, and then we have safe form and out. Now, bonus stay here 10, 9, 8, 7, little pull, 6. Five, four, three, two, come up. Take a moment. Nice job. Arms go up. We're getting ready to pull down and do a heel raise at the same time. Now, we did these earlier. Some of you came in a little later, so you might not have done them before, but we did them earlier at the beginning. Arms go long and your heels lift. Knee soft. Each toe 
has weight. In other words, you're not just biasing your pinky toe, which is what will happen if you're not attentive, if you're not paying attention. You want those ankles strong and pull it in front of you, Miss Julie, so it's right in front of your nose and it touches where you would wear a necklace. Good. Right on that decollete. Four, three, two, and one. Now, we're going to have a seat. If you need a sip, grab it, but we're going to have a seat. I'm going to move you in closer, guys. And then you're going to put a heavy band around your feet. A heavy band around your feet. Mm -hmm. All right, so wrap. For me, it's a purple. Maybe it's a blue or a red that you have. I'm going to even take off my slippers. All right, take a wrap, which is like an X. Walk your hands in. Let me move my sweatshirt so you can see. And pull. And pull. All right, I'm going to turn so I can see you better without not straining my neck. Good. Very good. The modification would be if it's hard to have a seat on the floor without rounding your back is to sit on a pillow or sit on a yoga block. The palm up position, supination is really nice. You might try that. Good. From the side view, your ears in line with your shoulder is in line with your middle rib, is in line with your hip, your drainage, your canter. Those are all alignment cues for a good posture so that our head doesn't drift forward. You got it. All right, 10. You can feel some biceps, nine, some rear delts, eight, some lat muscles, seven. We love strong backs. Five, four, three, two, now we're going to take that one out or if you have one band that you're using you can use it but if you have a very heavy band get a more moderate band and with the more moderate band put it around your feet not cross so this time they're parallel you're going to pull your arms i'll stand so really past your hips a little wider and then you're not so close that your hands run into the floor I've even, I've got the tubings and yeah, I just put my pinky in it and lead the way. See if that feels good, Karen, Julie, good. That's it, everybody looks good. It works with either elastic tubing or the bands. You're tall, your rear deltoid, it would be a muscle that gets neglected in normal living because our eyes are forward, so our front muscles of the shoulder get used more, but these are critical for shoulder care. All right. Now, cross the band. This is like an X. These are almost in every single rehab exercise uh, program with shoulders, but we like to do them for prehab before there's a shoulder issue. Now, if you open up your forearms, it doesn't feel very big, it's okay. It's very therapeutic, it's not big. Good, Julie, that looks great, it's not huge. Your elbows are on your ribs. Your neck is easy at any moment, you could freely move your head. Your wrists are straight. They're not cocked backwards or forwards, so the wrists are straight, good. That looks wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, just give me a little bit of a release. Just some, the scapula should move up and down. The shoulders are moving. And now we're gonna open up to, it's almost like you're hugging a tree backwards. So you've got this soft elbow. Your arms are wide like a T. The, notice the arms are still below the shoulders. So everybody looks good. You're still tall, you're practicing posture, but if you're feeling fatigued in your back rounds, grab a pillow for your tush or a folded up blanket for your tush. Good. No neck tension, but the rear shoulder is working. Good. All right, try five, four, three, two, one. Now, take that out for just a moment. 
And I'm going to show you a stretch. We're going to come back to the bands, but I want to sneak a stretch in here. The rack posture, arm up, fingers away. Inhale, the arm up, and fingers away. Now, soften both elbows and then lift your heart. You're not on your arms very heavy. You're just using the floor as friction. Now, lift your heart, but for your neck, you will probably have a pomegranate image or a peach image. If you have a long neck, you want a bigger fruit, but you want to tuck it to where there's no tension back there where the skull meets the neck. Breathe in. So you may be looking at your toes. Ah, looking good. Inhale. And then we're going to do a hand stretch. So let your feet go forward still and then hold hands and just massage your wrist. So you're giving some WD-40 to your wrist. And then a prayer pose down, separate the palms and there should be a form stretch. We're gonna go back to some bands in a moment, but I just wanted to add a stretch. You can do these stretches anytime and you're gonna grab a heavier band and you're gonna wrap it and now uh, cross it like an X. Now you're not gonna be holding onto the handles most likely, so grab the tube. When you walk your hands forward, you have tension right away as you rotate. Tension right away as you rotate. Now rotate and pull one arm. Rotate and pull one arm. Rotate and pull. Now rotate to the side. So if your left arm is pulling, you're gonna rotate your torso, your thoracic spine, your heart to that side wall. I'm gonna look at you, but you guys can, yeah. Good. That's it. Your elbow goes right beside your shirt. Your elbow goes right beside your rib cage. It's touching it. Your forearm touches your rib cage. It's not out here. It's touching. Yes. Yes. There you go. Nice, Julie. That's it. Your, your elbow, you can feel that connection. Proprioceptive cues are really nice to help the body go into alignment. So your forearm brushes by your ribs. Now, make a note, are you rotating equally each side? Does one side feel tighter? Do they feel about the same? Can you, with your conscious effort, rotate about the same? Sometimes there's a rotational pattern that one side's tighter. Four more, good. Three, but you're staying tall as you rotate. You're not dipping into your hips. Two, you're tall. One. Nice job. And then let that go. Take a moment. Go back to a medium band. And it may be that you're using just one band and you grip tighter. So that's okay too. I just want to give the options. I need to make sure I have room. Wrap the band. And now you may be holding on to your two handles. I'm going to give you an option. An option. Scoop out your abs. Soften your knees. Here's one option. You bend your elbows. If it's too... This is uh, options. Please find what works for you. You can make it harder in your abs by scooping back a little bit. Now, if it's too hard, I'd rather you stay up and keep your back safe, but you can add abs by doing this um, little scoop. The other thing you can do is lift your elbows a little bit, and that makes the bicep curl harder. Good, probably that looks right. So everyone may look just a little different, and let your wrist be going along they're straight exhale exhale now you may need to stay straight so Catherine when you watch this later you're going to be in a straight spine an upright spine two and one now come back up all right feet in front no cross this time so they're not crossed the bands are not crossed you're doing great open open. So this one is a little different than the one where they were crossed because the tension doesn't start till later. So you might be able to get a, long, a bigger range of motion. You just go to where you feel some work in the back shoulder. As an option, if you would like, you can make it a little like an X. One arm's higher, one arm's lower. If that's too much, then just stay with your variation one. Good. If the band's heavy, grab a lighter band because these are long levers. Neck is soft. Whew. Whew. 
You got it. And relax. Woo! Take a moment and then see if you can take your legs out wide and take a stretch. Now your hands could be on your shins or the floor. Just take a moment to relax your mind, relax your breath. Breathe in. Inhale. Now come back up, take your hand to the middle of the V and go over. Oh, feels so good. Yeah. And uh, you can sit on something here too if it's too hard. Breathe in. Good, Karen. Yeah. Yeah, all the, the essence, the intention is lateral flexion. Breathe in. The, the intention is lateral flexion on the other side. Go up and over. A healthy spine, um, there's a saying, you're as young as your spine. A healthy spine likes to be every day in flexion, extension, lateral flexion, rotation, and axial extension. So every class we do, we do those. So you don't have to worry about it, but that's what a healthy spine, that's why this motion feels so good. Come back up, now sit any way you want. I'm gonna just show you an example and rotate. Upper back rotation mostly. Your neck goes along for the ride. I'm gonna look at you, but you guys are looking over your shoulder. Is that okay, Karen? Yep. Yep. A thoracic spine uh, flexibility and rotation is critical to have uh, to prevent the forward rounded back that you see most people getting. Now open up your arms and then rotate the other way. Because every time you walk, your thoracic spine should rotate healthily, but when it doesn't have the mobility, then it compensates by getting rounded, and we don't want that. So we're stretching it here. Breathe in. Give yourself full breath. Mm -hmm. Bring it back. Uh huh. And then uh, take. We're gonna take three breaths up. Now this is for shoulder mobility. Inhale. See if you can touch your palms together at the top. Touch your palms together, and then exhale. Inhale. Shoulders. Touch elbows long. Good. And exhale. And just see if your elbows will go long. Inhale. Now at the top, catch your palms together. And it's like you caught the word peace or the energy of peace and you brought that image of peace right down to your heart, thumbs touch. So the prayer pose is a calming gesture. We're just going to take a moment to capture that, that energy of peace. It's always inside us anyway. And just feel that peace that is naturally ours. Feel that natural wellness and health that is naturally ours, that vibrancy and radiance. You are the master of your own energy. You set the tone of your own mood. No one and nothing has the ability to take that from you. And so today you're just gonna be intimately aware of that peace that is always yours. Regain it anytime you need with a few breaths just to bring yourself back into equilibrium. With so much appreciation, thank you all so much. I'm so proud of each of you. So strong, so flexible, wonderful. <laughs> Bye, guys. Thank you.